Well, I'm back guys. Welcome to Bronx Porch Homestead and I'm back in New York City, back in the Bronx. It's been a couple of days that I've been back. I'm in the urban backyard. Hens are doing great. Bees have moved on, which means we need to get another uh, queen bee and a whole, a whole bee setup. We have the beehive stuff ready for the spring but anyway I don't want to go off off uh, track here but yeah I have been back a couple of days first thing we did was immediately come back here even though we had good people taking care of our um, hen flock and our rabbits uh, hens got really big they got all excited when I when we went over uh, for the most part, the the weeks that I wasn't here, I'm grateful for those that did take care of the uh, little urban farm we have. I do have a little bit of news. So, Holly's in there. <laughs> you notice I just said Holly. Uh, we came back, David and I, and we actually saw Holly and Charlie. Um, we gave them small apple chunks and they were fine you know uh next day uh david went to let them out and charlie was completely flattened out which is why this video took a little long to open up because i just wasn't ready so when i first saw charlie flattened out Honestly, I was angry, just angry. I wasn't sad, I wasn't, oh, Charlie. I was angry. Uh, I couldn't, I don't understand what had happened. I checked the food, the hay. I checked for any openings. Um, he wasn't sick. Uh, the two people that were taking care of our guys, you know, said that they didn't see, Charlie didn't seem any different than any other day, except for that he may have um, looked a little thinner, is what one of the uh, people said, but nothing overnight drastically like that. So it did cross my mind that Holly uh, stomped Charlie. Now, I know it's innocent until proven guilty, but in this case, I don't know how you do that with rabbits. Uh, I know rabbits fight with each other, and I know that, you know, Holly and Charlie have had their little tiffs, because, you know, we see it. Um, but overnight, this rabbit, Charlie, was flattened. I mean, flattened like a cartoon, flattened. And so my anger shifted three days later to where I'm at today. So um, we did bury Charlie. I just want to let you know that Charlie does have a little spot here uh, by the bees all the way underground. Um, he, you know, uh, there was, what else am I going to do with that, right? So now this morning, I actually went over to see what noise is going on back there because they're doing more development and cleaning out and stuff. And, and I'm, I am a very alert resident in the community. I want to know what's going on within my surroundings. You know, I do. This is a house that I live in. <laughs> so I did go to the back, check to see what the noise was back there. There were some guys working. And as I went over to that corner I said hey Charlie um, so yeah so that's my welcome back to Bronx Porch Homestead right to uh, to what happens in life so I I am sad Charlie was my favorite I do have favorites so it's okay to have favorites Charlie was my favorite, so I'm a little angry. Okay, I'm lying. I'm a lot angry at Holly. Again, did she really stomp him? Because he really looks like he was stomped. And she's walk, she's running around like nothing, you know, like, hey, I'm here and 
Anyway, wish I had something better else to say, right? So uh, that's my 2023 start of year in here with Charlie not being part of it. You know, it's also the year of the rabbit. It's Chinese New Year. Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit. What does that say? All I know is I'm going to miss Charlie. And, uh, and I guess it's okay to feel sad when one of your animals dies. That's it for now. It's a very short video. Just wanted to touch base with the universe and reality and update myself mentally that uh, I'm back in the Bronx. It snowed last night. Charlie's not here, but I have great hens. Holly's still part of my life. And I have a great big blue sky above me. So that's about it until the next time.